thank you for watching Border County USA, episode 2, uh, I'm sorry, episode 19, season 2, and we're here at Vinny's Pizzeria, here where we're going to do a uh, little mega rally here for uh, Trump, and the only VIPs here are going to be voters who are benefiting from the policies of Trump. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, throughout the time, yeah, we're, we're trying seeing, to organize that. Back to get a rapid ticket. I've seen Nadia or me. I'll get you a rapid ticket. And no, then it's in a possible. little bit, we'll make some more announcements and get the party started and have some fun. All right. Welcome to Sierra Vista. Hello again, just a quick announcement, since we're going to be doing announcements throughout. I just would like to introduce three fabulous gentlemen that are joining us here today that I'm sure are going to come around and meet with each and every one of you. They're all running for CD2 Congress, so I just want to name them and they can stand so that you can all see who they are. Feel free to ask questions, and they're going to come around and talk to you. So, um, Joseph Morgan, if you can stand, where you are. Joseph Morgan. Thank you, Joseph, for coming. Brandon Martin. If you want to text me sometime, yes. or do you know, did you meet the Dolores, my campaign manager? Up, no. I'm going to introduce her to you sometime uh, before we leave here. Them, so, um, just so that way, you know, but um, she handles all the media stuff, like she delegates all that down, so I just like to introduce you. And welcome once again to Border County USA, Season 2, Episode 19. And these guys are making this so easy for me. Uh, a lot of very good friends here from Pima County and the GOP. Uh, hello to Kelly Ward. We're all sending pictures to her. And it's really great to see all these people. How are you doing, sir? Hi, how are you doing, John? This is Brandon Martin. And it's great to be with you. It's great to be with you. And guess what? Ann Kirkpatrick has never seen the life of this guy. No way. So one term in. That's what we're saying. It's time to take back our district. We have a lot of things to do. We have to secure the border, continue to cut regulations to improve the economy, and we got to take care of our veterans. We have a great veteran community here. We have Davis Montham. We have Fort Huachuca. So please come out, join us, jump on board. We have a big movement. Let's get this done and turn this district. And back. your name once again is Brandon, Brandon Martin. Martin. Brandon Martin for CD2. Brandon Martin for Congress.com. Follow us on Facebook. You got Thank it, my friend. You. Thanks, John. You're welcome, my friend. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I didn't vote for him in 2016, but he, but I, he has so greatly exceeded, exceeded expectations. He's got my vote in 20, 2020. For sure. What has been coming out of the House of Dem uh, the Democrat controlled House right now is abomination. And Edward Patrick, which is representative of CD2, has been an absolute 
train wreck. There is no pay, there is no wage gap. It does not exist uh, because if it actually existed, this is just a simple economic argument you can make on somebody. If it actually existed and, and women were making 70 percent, I mean 30 percent of what uh, men were, they would just fire all the men and hire women. Yeah. Every company in the world would do that, right? Well, that's exactly right. what they would do. That's really true. If, if it actually existed, there is no there is no, no no wage gap. It doesn't exist, and yet that bill was passed through. And Ann Kirkpatrick, she signed it. Do you know what this is on Ann Kirkpatrick? What is happening in the Senate? nothing, because the, 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 the Republicans control it. So There's stuff, but it passed. My point is, is this is what these people are doing. That's the bill. These are her words. It's on her website. She is most proud of that bill. So she's really working for the for the citizens of the uh, uh, CD2, as you can tell. So the Democrats who want to keep them locked in, in the, uh, the urban centers, where they have horrible schools, want to keep them dumb and educated and dependent. It's the same thing by keeping them locked on the reservation. They keep them dependent, they keep them uh, locked in there, and it's just a cycle of hatred. And yet, what does it get for you? Nothing. It gets death and destruction. And so that's a cultural change. That's a thing. And I know there's some great American Indians uh, who are conservative who have been trying to fight this. I, I would like to see more um, activity from like uh, one of the major parties, and, and perhaps I could be a voice like that once I'm in Congress, where you are bringing those people to the table and then going in as an advocate to change this culture. Because until the culture changes from within, you're not going to see that success because they have to make those choices for, to, to be free and be a part of themselves. And without without bringing us really truly together as one, you're never going to be able to walk as one. That was the, the whole thing with slavery. It was hard to overcome, but we finally got there. I'm so sick and tired of people saying, oh, we're all racist, we're not racist. The, the, the walls got torn down, but it took a long time because slavery was so bad. They were literally in bondage. The, the, the blacks were really, they were second class. They weren't even citizens. They weren't even considered human in the South. So that's the whole thing. If you want to be able to consider the American melting pot, the American dream, what is, what is America all about? We are a nation of ideas, not skin color, not ethnicity. We need the, I need, the American Indians need to embrace that. Come along and, and let's, let's, let's move together. Because I, I want to see you guys succeed. I know you guys can, I, but um, they're kind of being handicapped by the race. They died from the race. But behind that, it's tragic. It is tough. I'm going to have to go up to the race. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's not a. It's not a pretty picture, I, but there, yeah, like say, it is a limited thing that your Congress can do. I went down to Douglas and interviewed him at the, at the uh, what's the name of that hotel down there? You're right. Really good restaurant there. What is the number one Yeah, I need there for 10 years to my husband work there. Yep. Great place. And I had to come back and put a lot of snow and ice. So you have a YouTube so I can watch it now? What is our Oh yeah, it's called Border County USA. So introduce yourself. I'm sorry. What in this raffle? Cuban cigar. Cuban cigar, just have your bag of hat. Introduce yourself. I'm sorry. Introduce yourself. Oh, hi, I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. We know who you are from, from uh, Pima County. From Pima County. From Pima County. Tucson. Okay, it's Cuban cigar. We feel, we, we, we feel sorry for you. I know. And, and for Allie Miller. It's pathetic, I know. <laughs> Get your but we're trying to make Pima County great again. Yeah. You guys can do it. It's gonna, it, it's gonna take. It's gonna take three more supervisors. Okay. I'm ready. Hi, my name is Rosanna Brown. Zero. My name is Rosanna Brown Warrior. I'm from the reservation in Montana called Fort Belknap. I'm a grove once. My dad served in the Marines for 24 years. I'm half Mexican. Um, I came out here to, um, to live out here. <laughs> and what brings you to a conservative rally? Well, I don't like the way the Democrats are right now, and you know, I, I, I'm a public again, and I'm a proud of it. And there's a lot of changes that are happening, which is positive. The Contuya Espanol. My mother is from Isla Sancha. Okay. And you're 
And you're uh, from up north. Yes. And you're not here for the weather. You're here for the quality of life. I'm here for the quality of life because on my reservation there's hardly any jobs. And so I came out here for, with my two little girls, my two little kids, a boy and a girl. And um, I had two other kids born here in CFS, Arizona. And there's a lot more jobs out here. Well, not a whole lot, but there's more. But there was a lot more than the reservation was yeah. at. Well, that's great. Really nice to meet you, my friends. Thanks. You too. Have a great day. God bless. Martin. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll get with you, John. And I should know this. You're not. You're not Benjamin Franklin. I'm sorry. You're not Benjamin Franklin. No.
meetup, which is our president's fabulous birthday party. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're back live. In 2020, the GOP owns, totally owns the White House, the Senate, the House, and SCOTUS. So I think I think things are going in the right direction. We just have to be persuasive here. We do. We have to talk about the things that matters. And that is securing the border and building the wall, cutting regulations to improve the economy, and rebuilding our military and taking care of our veterans. So thank you very much. Um, Brandon Martin, I'm running for Congress here in CD2. We're going to turn this thing red. Thank you. Thanks, my friend. Great Thanks, job. John. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap for Border County USA, episode 19. Thanks so much, as always, for watching, and we'll see you next week.